Superman. Batman, do you copy? This is Green Lantern. Checking in from Watchtower. Hello, Superman, Batman, do you copy? Damn communicator never works. Let me try a different signal. Raphael. Raphael, do you copy? Yo, I read you loud and clear, GL. I was just about to take a stroll for some pizza. What's on your mind? How can we help you out? I need you to meet the Justice League at the Watchtower. It would appear that Brainiac, Darkseid, Sinestro, and Joker are taking on infinite universes with some sort of otherworldly force. Again, Raphael, I need your help. Bring your brothers and check in to Justice League Watchtower. Green Lantern, out. No problem. I'll grab my brothers and we're on our way. Shell yeah! Ah, uh, yes. It will not be long. Before the Justice League and the Ninja Turtles fall right into my trap. <laughs> Hi everyone, Green Lantern here. So you haven't played Justice League Legends yet, where we cross over with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for a crisis on infinite Earths. It even has a special Green Lantern level with much more. Let's take a look and find out how you can play it and put it on your arcade to play right at home. Welcome to Arizona's Arcade Heroes. Here we go! Welcome back to Arizona's Arcade Heroes. Now that was a long intro, I know, but I'm very partial to the Justice League and the Ninja Turtles, so I hope you enjoyed it. It's part of the fun on my channel. But that being said, I'm gonna jump right into the action here and show you guys Justice League Legacy. Now, I'm gonna start things off by jumping into some of the options here, which you arcade gurus will really appreciate. This will let you turn on or off the scan lines. You can actually set it to sharp graphics, blurry graphics, 32-bit graphics. So there's a lot of options on there. And uh, I really wanted to stress the coolness of this game. It is a crossover with the Ninja Turtles and the extended Justice League universe with 40 playable characters. And I think there's some unlockable characters as well. But what's nice is you can go into the options here and set up the controls any way you would like. So you can play it on your PC, on your television, you can put it on your arcade or your arcade one-up and set the controller up any way you'd like. There's a number of campaigns to choose from, but I'm gonna go to my favorite one, which is Crisis on Infinite Earths. You can see there's some unlockables here that you have to unlock by finishing the game. There's even a Streets of Rage mode, which I will give you a quick peek at in this video. But I strongly urge you to just go ahead and download this video or this game and play it yourself. So Crisis on Infinite Earths is legit. It starts off in the Ninja Turtles universe with these weird towers appearing in New York City. 
you can choose from any of the four turtles and if you guys like the ninja turtles arcade one up or the arcade beat em up game you're gonna absolutely love this game so i'm gonna pick one of the turtles and just show you a little bit of gameplay here just to give you an idea of what to expect but michelangelo is always my go-to so we're gonna go with him now the cool thing about this is that each character does have an attack and a jump but then they also have two special attacks they have kind of a small special attack and then they have a large special attack which it's kind of cut off on the bottom of the screen i apologize i'll give you a view of that in a minute but below the life bar there's also a special bar which replenishes after you use it there's a number of really cool boss fights but i'm going to get right into the towers at the end of the first couple of turtles scenes here we get to the first tower that dropped now these things are hard they're from another dimension you can see these creatures have to be held off while you destroy the tower so i felt like this game should ideally be played with two players just because then you have one player that's beating up the bad guys and one player that's taking out the tower but let's get to the next really cool part about this game is after you beat stage one which is just the ninja turtles this is where it gets really cool so there's 40 playable characters on this game so you and your friends can choose from superman they've got wonder woman aquaman batman martian manhunter you've also got cyborg green lantern kilowog from green lantern universe the flash You've got Jesse the Flash from the CW show. You've got the Jay Garrick version. Also Vixen, Zatanna, Artemis, Shazam, Red Tornado, one of my favorites, Plastic Man, Hawk Girl, surprisingly no Hawk Man, but we've got Black Canary and Green Arrow. You've got the Boy Wonder Robin and Nightwing. Also, Starfire, Raven, Beast Boy. So the Teen Titans are all on here, as well as Huntress, Superboy, Supergirl, Steel, Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, and Raphael, as well as Maul, Warblade, Spartan, Spawn, and also Lobo, Star Sapphire, Harley Quinn, let's not forget the Joker, and Superman. So let's take a look at some more gameplay here. I like being a hero. All right, guys, so to start things off with some gameplay, I'm gonna go with one of my favorites, Shazam. But he's got a cool special move. He can turn into a kid and then turn back into Shazam, just like the movie. Now, I can't stress enough, guys. This game only gives you, I think it's four or five continues, and you get four or five guys with each turn. So if you're going to try to beat these levels and unlock those ones that are locked in the beginning, you're going to have to learn how to do this and bring it. And I highly recommend using two players because I've played through this with a friend of mine, and we got much further than I did by myself. Um, you know, I'm still learning. Some of the characters do better on specific levels. For example, Shazam can fly, and so can a lot of the other characters. Some of them cannot fly, and some of them can coast, like Batman. So you're going to have to kind of scout ahead while you're playing and figure out which players are going to be better for which envi certain environments. You can see Batman's taking on the mind-controlled gorillas here, probably from Gorilla Grodd. But... Um, it's just an awesome game you guys as you're playing through you know There's a lot of variety you can grab characters and use your specials while you grab them You can see Batman will chuck his batterings and you really have to be careful with your life Because if you lose a lot of life on like let's say there's a flying level and you fall to your death several times in a row That's a lot of game progression that you're gonna miss out on Losing all those guys and all those lives with the chance to try to unlock you know those modes that you're gonna want to get into in the higher levels so I just wanted you to take a look at the Crisis on Infinite Earth. I'll show you a little bit more gameplay of this one at the end, but it's pretty straightforward. I want you guys to check it out for yourself. So I'm gonna get into one of the other modes here. Now at any point you can go back to the main menu and then go to one of these other games. And you guys see there's one called the Death of Superman. 
Now this one's pretty cool because it plays through the story mode with Doomsday as he kills Superman. And this one only lets you pick from a few characters, so it doesn't have the whole extended roster. But what's cool is as you get into some of the other levels, you can pick those characters. And I forgot to show you guys, as you see here, if you push up or down, you can choose your palette for the costume. So if there's a version of the costume you like better, you can hit up or down. Batman's taken off in the looks like the 89 Michael Keaton Batmobile but level one here on Death of Superman is going to be in Gotham City so some of it you, you can see is side scrolling and then some of it you'll see as you get through it is a little bit more open where you can go up and down a little bit three dimensionally but um, this one's going to revolve around a lot of the Justice League characters so I don't think the Death of Superman has the Ninja Turtles characters in this particular storyline but this is one that I played through quite a bit and it's very fun um, I'm going to take a look at some of the other game modes here, you guys. I don't want this video to go on too long. And again, I want you guys to download this game and play it for yourself. So let me show you what Dark Side War looks like. I don't know if you guys know who Dark Side is, but he's one of the main Justice League villains that we really wanted to see in the Justice League movie. And apparently might be in the Snyder Cut coming out next year, so I'll be excited to see that. But this one you can see lets you pick from Superman's universe. Only Superman is not one of the characters. So you got the Eradicator, Cyborg, Superman, Superboy, Steel. I'm gonna go with the Eradicator just because I like his costume. He's got some pretty cool moves too, but this one you can see is gonna be set in Metropolis. So it's gonna have more of the Superman villains instead of the Batman or the Crisis villains. But this is a level I was talking about you guys where there's gonna be a lot of flying. <laughs> that reminds me of the Punisher when you drop the grenades on the graphics there. But you know, on this, if you fly and you fall down and there's no buildings, you die. So I think it gives you one chance to pop back up with a major hit on your life. But if you lose a lot of life, you're dead. Like you guys could see right there. So I died after twice. So another fun one to check out that I wanted to show you guys is I'm a huge fan of Green Lantern. And Zero Hour follows the story of Green Lantern. It says he violates their sacred canon. You can see the elders there. You've used your ring for personal gain. So I don't know the full storyline. I just kind of saw the beginning of this, but I already like the idea of it just because you can see the the playable characters are Green Lantern and Kilowog, as well as Green Arrow and Star Sapphire. I'm sure as you progress through the levels, there's probably more characters that open up to be selected. But let me just give you a peek at some of this so you can see where it looks like we're on Oa, Green Lantern's planet where he got his ring from. And there's a Tomar Ree looking guy. And then kind of a Sinestro skinned looking guy, but you can see the lanterns have turned against Hal Jordan and he's having to defend himself. And I gotta tell you guys, this game, this is the first level. I mean, you have to think about a game like Streets of Rage or like The Punisher. I mean, the the first few guys you fight on the first, like at least level or two are fairly simple. These guys like bring it right from the get go. So that's why I recommend you either know what you're doing with the moves or you bring a friend and you guys tag team these guys because they do not mess around. I mean, these guys have a full life bar, so you don't want to be taking damage early on or you're not going to make it very far in the game. Um, I'll progress a little bit into the Green Lantern level here just so you can see a little bit more of the action. Let's take a look at Starfire. You can see she's on the Yellow Lantern planet here with some similar dudes. Uh, but again, you know, these guys bring it, you guys, so you got to really know what you're doing with the special attacks. And I highly recommend not getting surrounded. That seems to be one of their strategies, like most side scrolling beat em ups, is they want to surround you and it kind of attack you from both sides. Um, I'll jump ahead a little bit more here on the Green Lantern game. Let's take a look at Raven. She's fighting Parallax here, so this is one of the boss fights. Parallax is always one of my favorite Green Lantern villains. Um, and by the way, guys, when you die and you lose all your guys, you can absolutely change characters mid-game. Just like Ninja Turtles, if you die, you can pick a new turtle or X-Men. So it's very, very cool. And I mean, guys, this really doesn't even look like an open board game. It's got a lot of variety. It'll actually put you in levels like this where you're on the water and, you know, if you were Superman, you'd be flying. If you were Wonder Woman, you'd be in the invisible jet. But it turns into kind of a side shooter, kind of like, um, I don't know, Defender or one of those types of games. 
So it has a lot of variety. Um, kind of reminds me of the Superman game where you fly sideways and shoot your heat vision. But check that one out, you guys. I don't want to show you too much, but I was dying to show you the Streets of Rage mode just because I know we have a lot of Streets of Rage Sega fans out there. And if you guys have seen some of my other videos, there's a Streets of Rage Zombies game. There's also a Ninja Turtles Streets of Rage game, but you can hear that familiar music that we hear from Streets of Rage. And I think this kind of looks like Streets of Rage 2 to me. I would have to go back and double check that. But um, I think I'm going to have to go with showing you guys some of the skin options here on the costumes. But I'm going to probably have to go with my all-time favorite, which is... The Last Son of Krypton, Superman. But you guys can see each character's got a lot of different skins. And it looks like Streets of Rage will let you pick from all the characters. And it is a four-player game, you guys. So if you have a four-player arcade or an arcade one-up like Turtles or NBA Jam, you can absolutely hook into your PC or your laptop and play four players on this, which is very cool because you guys know there's not a whole lot of four-player games available to choose from. So the fact that this is one for me is awesome. So I'm going to go with his darker costume color here, but oh yeah, definitely Streets of Rage 2 here. So just gives it a little bit more variety you guys and you know i appreciate you guys watching this i hope you really enjoy this game um i found it very very fun especially on the arcade a little bit less fun on the pc but if you can hook it up and use those joysticks and buttons really has that late late 80s early 90s arcade feel to it and you know with the different game modes having seven or eight different game modes on there really has a lot of longevity to the gameplay um yeah, these, these guys kind of look like the bad guys on Streets of Rage, but the funny thing is these guys are flipping knives up, but nobody's actually throwing one. I'd like to see you try to use a knife on Superman. Ah, we all know it's a game. The knives will hurt him, but... All right, guys, I think I've showed you enough of the levels. I'm going to kind of give you a recap here. Um, I am going to put the download link in the description for this game so you guys can go right to it and download it. It's on gamejolt.com. So it's very easy to find. It is a free download, so there's no copyright infringement for me telling you where to go and get this. But just an awesome game, you guys. You can see some of the variety on here. And with 47 playable characters, I think seven of them you have to unlock. The Teen Titans, the Justice League, the Suicide Squad, the Ninja Turtles. Just has a huge roster with a ton of playability. So tell me what you guys think in the comments. I want to hear if you like it or you hate it or if you're going to try it. Again, this is Arizona's Arcade Heroes, and I really appreciate you guys watching. If you did enjoy the content, please hit that like or subscribe button. Make sure you stay on top of my channel. I'll be coming out with some more videos very soon. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I'm out of here. Never been safe, but I'll never come closer. Another year down and another year older Arizona's Arcade Heroes A million fresh starts, what I needed was close